Alright, hello everyone, it's GSTAR321 here again, and we are back with more The Evil Within on a Kumu difficulty. We are up to Chapter 6. Has something startled you? Did they do something to my head? You don't look well. You should take better care of yourself. Okay, so here we are guys. This is chapter 6. Now, in my opinion, this is the hardest chapter in the whole game on Akumu difficulty. It is just non-stop from beginning to end with some of the most difficult fights in the game, it is absolutely fucking disgusting. But, I actually really like this chapter. It's one of my favorites in the game. So before we get into it, let's examine, sorry, let's collect this newspaper collectible. And now we'll examine these photos. Photographs? Church. So the lights go out and all we need to do here is turn on our lantern. If it turns on, there we go. Now, just look at the desk here. You'll notice that there's this open safe. Take note of that because... <laughs> I don't want to really ruin it now, but... We're going to become introduced to a new enemy called the Keeper. And he's sort of like a sub-boss enemy, I guess, or a boss type enemy. And for his head... That's his head there. These, this safe, okay? We're actually going to become briefly introduced to him here in chapter 6. Ooh, creepy wheelchair there. So yeah, I'll just uh, go over here now and because I've got one key, I'll open one more locker. So there open that one. Shotgun shells, that's really good. Okay, I've got the max. So now the most important thing you need to do here for chapter 6 is get your flash bolts upgraded in full to level 5, okay? That will increase the duration that the enemies remain blinded. So I'm going to do that immediately. So there you go, level 5, they're blinded for 16 seconds. Why is that important here in chapter 6? Well, <laughs> You will see. And anyone that's played this game and this chapter on Akumu difficulty, you know. I'll just say it. The two rooms where Joseph defuses bombs. Yep. That's it. That's why we need to get that shit upgraded. And... Yeah, I guess we'll increase the reload time. Decrease the reload, the, uh, sorry, decrease the amount of time it takes to reload for the Agony Crossbow. So we're done, and now what we need to do is go straight ahead here. We've got to follow the nurse, she went through here. So it's pretty weird here. We're sort of like, I don't know, hallucinating or something. It's strange. But 
As we go down here, we're going to become introduced to the Keeper. Very briefly, we'll see him. So just watch. Here he comes. Notice his head. Oh, you probably couldn't see it really well there. Because it was quite dark, but yeah. For his head, he's got a safe. It's fucking weird, but yeah, we'll we'll see him properly in the next chapter, chapter seven. That's a pretty good chapter. I like that one. And there's Leslie. Leslie. Sebastian. 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 And this is it. This is where it starts. So we're just going to climb our way out of here. Open this case. There should be a harpoon. Yes, a harpoon bolt. It's always there. There's nothing else. Let's go. So the very, very beginning here of chapter 6 is quite... It's quiet. But do not be fooled. This is one of the most... Oh my god. Come on, Sebastian. This is one of the most brutal... I, 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 I honestly think it's the most brutal chapter in the game. Same place as it's the so place. fucking difficult. I can't even begin to express, you know. I did about... I'd say... Six or seven run-throughs on Akumu. Before doing this final recording of chapter six. And let me tell you guys, I died... An incredible amount of times so I can only assume that the same is going to happen here it's I don't think it's actually possible to get through chapter 6 without dying at least once on a Kumu you know there's just so many accidents that can happen it's just to play this chapter perfectly would be you can't I don't think it's possible you know if someone there posts a comment and says I did this without dying once Fuck you, okay? That's not possible. I don't believe it. And if you did, well... <laughs> you know, what can I say? That's just... You know, that's... It's not... It's, it's not possible! It's not possible! You can't! Because... It's... Okay, anyway. Look, basically, once we go through that door, that's when this chapter starts, okay? It is non-stop from that point on. It will not stop. It is unrelenting. And what we're going to do immediately... Oh my god, I'm getting so fucking angry. This chapter makes my blood boil. So, what we're going to do immediately is create four flash bolts using the trap parts because I didn't have any flash bolts. I had to create some there. Why do we need the flash bolts? Like I said, there are two rooms. Basically, once we go through the door... You know, this is actually notoriously... You know, most people think this part of the chapter is the hardest. I don't, okay? I think the final boss fight is the hardest in this chapter. These two rooms, don't get me wrong, they're difficult. They're very, very tough if you don't know what to do. Basically, what's going to happen is we're going to go through the door. Joseph, we're going to be in a room and haunted. We can't escape the room. Joseph is diffusing a bomb off the door... And basically, we have to clear the Haunted off him, so that he can do that in peace. The Haunted will enter this room non-stop. Okay, they continuously spawn. And you can't escape the room. You just have to protect Joseph. It's a small room, and it's, it's fucking brutal, okay? But using the method I show you guys, it's going to be pretty easy. But that's not it. Once he defuses that bomb, we go into another room. And it's exactly the same thing over again except in the second room man he takes a much longer time to defuse that bomb on the second door it's fucking bullshit <sighs> so I think the best way to do it is just get straight into it I'm gonna get my shotgun equipped immediately here we go guys this is this is it there's no turning back now are you alright 
My head wouldn't stop buzzing. It felt like it was about to crack open. But now it's like... I'm starting to get used to it. You seen Kidman? No. Next thing I knew, I was here. I must have blacked out or... Maybe I turned again. Inside. Let's go. Another one? Okay, immediately run over here, shoot that, okay? There's going to be two haunted that come in straight off the bat. We're going to use that barrel to take care of them. Run over here, grab the flashbolt, the matches, and the handgun ammo if you need it. Now, get ready. There will be three haunted that come in the windows. I'm just going to run around, wait for the third one to come in. Then I will shoot a flashbolt on the ground. Now should be okay. Alright, so they're all blinded. Now, that's all you do. Do not kill any more. Only kill two. And from this point on, all we're going to do is stand here and continually flash these three remaining haunted. If you kill them, even just one, more haunted will spawn in and it's just brutal. They seem to just spawn in continuously, you know. There's just like seven, eight or nine. I don't know. It's just, it's way too difficult. So I'm going to take a bit of a risk here and shoot the barrel instead of blinding them again because I know Joseph gets the door open pretty soon after I've used the second flash bolt. Okay, this is fucking risk. Oh shit. Okay, got to be... This is called kiting. Joseph. Joseph. Guys, that really happens, okay? That's probably the first... You know what? I'm going to say that that is the first time that that has ever happened to me where they've focused on Joseph instead of me. Fucking... Okay, this is... Okay, you have to make sure to... I'm going to drop a match. Got to kill those two immediately. Why is my lantern on? This room's already bright enough. Reload the shotgun. Get prepared. Here we go. Get the flash bolts ready. Wait for that third one to come in. Go. Shoot it. Okay. Make sure... You know... I don't know if what I'm doing is... I, I probably should just continually flash them, but... You know, like I said, that rarely fucking happens. Where they focus on Joseph, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it again, shooting the barrel. Okay, I'll just position the barrel a bit closer to these two so that it should get them both when I shoot it. Go. Okay. Got those, got them all. Alright. Joseph, just waiting on you now, buddy. Oh, I got that one. Okay, got it open. Now, Let's go. run to the second... What the fuck? Look at them! They're focused... Okay. Go okay, you know what? I'm just going to use the flash bolts. I didn't want to have to do this, but... You know... Fuck it. This rarely happens, like I said, guys. They just... Ch they chased him into the room. What the fuck is going on? I have never seen this happen before. Every time I've done this, that has never happened. Why is this happening for the live recording? Alright, well it looks like I'm just going to have to expend an, in an insane amount of flash bolts to get through this area. Fuck it. 
fuck you, game. You're being a bitch. I don't know what's going on. Shoot it. There you go. No point even moving that because I'm not going to be using it. So I might as well create another flash bolt now. Can't hold them off much longer. Another Didn't want to have to do that, but yep. Looks like I'm going to have to. So yeah, as long as you just keep these three here and don't kill them, no other haunted will enter this room. And it's the same for the following room. Except in the following room, we're going to kill three. Kill the first three, and then four will spawn in, and that's it. No more will spawn in, so we're going to flash the four. See, here there's only three haunted, so it's a bit easier, but the next room is its a lot tougher. Alright, so Joseph will get it open, and that's an axe, I don't care. Let's go. Let's go. So the door will shut behind you, don't worry, they won't chase you in. Oh, well, fire will sort of burn the way, and make sure you go over here. Grab that, there'll be a freeze bolt, have to be very quick here. Grab that, okay. Now I'm going to run over here, and I'm going to immediately shoot that. Hopefully that will get... That guy's chasing me. Come on, get into the... Yep, perfect. Okay, good. We've got this. We have got this. Okay. Come on. Don't fuck me over, game. This is it. I've killed the three. Do not kill any more. Wait for four to spawn in, which I think they have. Shoot the flash bolt. Okay, one didn't get flashed. That's pretty annoying. That can happen sometimes. So I'm just going to have to run around and kite this guy. I don't want to have to waste... Flash bolts. It's really annoying when that happens. It tends to happen if you like shoot it in front of the barrel or something and they. Okay, that should. Good, I got them all. Perfect, perfect. Now there was some green gel. I'm going to have to create another flash bolt here because I'm not taking the risk. I'm doing this the, the way it's. You know, this is the safest way to. Oh shit. Ah, okay. Oof. Jesus. That fat haunt had almost got me. My god, wasn't paying attention. Alright, now I should only have to use one more flash bolt, and then Joseph should get the door open. Like I said, this second room, it's a lot, you know, he takes longer to... That's got to be it. I'm going to, you know... Oh, he got it open. Fuck, oh well. Come on. Come on. Go. Run. Yes! Okay, we got it. Let's rest for a minute. We can't keep going at this pace. I... I think we've got to get out of this place as fast as we can. What about the tower there? We might be able to get a lay of the land. Anything's got to be better than staying here. Holy hell. We got through it. And I only died twice. That's pretty good. Before I grab that weapon, I just... Okay. Like I said, those two rooms are renowned for being probably the hardest parts of this chapter. I don't think they are. I think it's pretty simple. As long as you use flash bolts completely upgraded, that is the safest way to do that. You know, I've seen videos where people just run around and, and kite them, so to speak. That's very risky. You can get hit very easily, especially if you get stuck on a twig on the ground or or whatever, you know, and Sebastian completely stops. You're fucked. So that's the safest way to do it. Remember, in the first room, kill only the first two. Then only three will spawn in. Flash them continuously until Joseph gets the door open. And for the second room, kill only the first three then flash the remaining four that spawn in, and that's it. No more will spawn. If you do that, you'll be sweet. Now, here we go. We have a new weapon. This is the sniper rifle. This is a fantastic weapon. This is pretty much an essential weapon for a Kumu. I will be upgrading this almost near, probably almost completely. This is a fantastic weapon. As you can see, this unusual looking rifle is bolt action and has a scope. It looks old, but appears to have been well cared for. Now, for this section, I'm going to actually set that to right 
on the D-pad as a shortcut. Immediately run over here and stand here. There'll be a haunted that breaks, busts through the door. He won't be able to see you for some reason. And we're going to shoot him in the head. Now, I'm going to wait for the remaining haunted in that room to break through the door. And I will use an explosive bolt. And perhaps a freeze bolt now. And that should be enough. Oh, I might need to actually... Okay. Did I get both of them? Ah. Uh... <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to go in and take care of him with the shotgun. Don't you run away. How dare you. Burn him. What the... Wow. Fucking hell. What the hell happened there? He had a torch, didn't he? Or I know there's a guy in the room up top throwing a bottle. Okay. That was probably him. It looks like I'm going to have to expend quite a bit more bolts here. I mean, I probably should have just shot an explosive bolt there, but... You know. I'm trying not to... Utilise... As much ammunition as... And, uh, sorry... I'm tr bleh. I'm trying not to utilize as much ammunition and bolts here. So I'm trying to just be very careful in terms of my ammunition and bolt conservation, but looks like the game's fucking me over a bit here and it's forcing me to use them. Okay, let's try that again. What if I do a freeze bolt immediately? I'll try that. Good, got them, and when they shatter, I'll fire off an explosive bolt in there. Yeah, because there's a bomb, like, right near the wall, so when you shoot the explosive bolt in there, and blow up one of them, then that bomb tends to go off as well. Okay, that should be it. There should be one, one, maybe one or two more in there. I know there's one, I saw one, but... I'll use the axe. Oh, here we go. He's coming out. And that should be it. Yep, so that bomb has been... It, it blew up. That bomb trap. There are quite a number of bomb traps in this area. I will not be defusing any of them. Maybe... i I got to think about it. Not now. Maybe later, once I get a checkpoint. But for now, go over here and pull down on this lever that will turn on this generator. By doing that, as you can see, those two levers go up and you can actually only open, pull down on one of them. And we're going to pull down on the left lever and get that left door open. You can only open one of the doors there. Now I've got to grab an axe. And now we're going to go back. This is another difficult section coming up. But it's actually not too bad. It's not as bad as the previous two rooms. But it can be tricky. So yeah, I just like to fire off a round of my handgun there. Wait for them to cross the bridge, the haunted. If you just shoot them... Okay, that was bad. Jesus Christ, this isn't going well at all. Yeah, if you shoot them as they're crossing the bridge. That guy's still alive. Kill him, Joseph. Just kill him. This is... Oh, he saved me. I thought I was dead. <laughs> come on, guys. Come this way. What's going on? I'm over here. Hello. Yep. So yeah, if you shoot them as they're crossing this bridge here, they'll actually fall off. Like that, alright? So you only got to do one shot, and they'll fall off, so that's what I like to do. Well, I got lucky there. Joseph saved my life. Now, where's the axe? What happened to it? Oh, there it is. So there's two more enemies to take care of in this immediate area. 
they'll be up there. And they're a bit weird and unpredictable in what they do. One of them tends to come to the ladder up there, yeah, and he sort of runs off. I don't know why. Sometimes they will, like, climb down, but not all the way. Okay, got that one, and you're going to go down, and I might just drop a match on him. Stand at a fair distance away and drop the match, otherwise, you know, like I said, they swing wildly. And they didn't drop anything. Okay, now, whoops, did not want to... Oh, well, got to go down here anyway. Okay, there is a trap here which I'm going to defuse just to be safe. In case Joseph goes through it. I don't think he does, but I like to defuse it. Break those, grab the goo. And now, remember, there's these two levers here and two doors. You can only pull down on one of them. We're going to do the left one here. Because inside there'll be only one enemy. And if you pull down the lever to get this door open, I think there's quite a number of enemies. And there's not much... I don't know. I don't think there's much loot in there compared to this room. So pull it down and run away because there will be a dynamite carrying haunted. We're going to shoot him before he... Okay, there we go. And got him. If, you, if you're if you not comfortable with doing that, you can set up like a shock, a, sorry, a, um, what do you call it? A shock bolt down there, set up a trap, you run into it and get shocked and you can just shoot him. So these two chests in here aren't trapped, open them all the way, get the goo. And in here there should be some ammo. Yep, and trap parts, so grab all that, that's good. Now we'll go in this room, careful of the bomb, grab the rifle ammo, we'll need that. Now we're going to go back and I think that's it in terms of all the loot. I'm going to go straight up the ladder here and run across this, oh there's actually some goo here, got to get that. All right. Back up the ladder. There is an achievement to get here. And basically it involves... Okay, I'll talk about what we got to do. Because it's coming up pretty much now. Grab the handgun ammo. Okay, so we're done. Now, just reload my rifle, sniper rifle. Now what's going to happen is... We're going to go... Down about there. Once we do, that's going to trigger a checkpoint to initiate and it's going to trigger a fight. This is a pretty nasty ass fight. What's going to happen is, you can see there are these four hanging... I don't know what they are, these lifts I guess. There's four of them there. Once we go down there and trigger the checkpoint and trigger the fight, these lifts will open up. Okay, if you sort of... like, if you stand there then that lift will open up and if you stand sort of here on the bridge, that lift will open up. It depends. You've got to be at a certain position in order to get the lifts to open up. What's inside the lifts? Well, it's these haunted and they're sort of shooting out bolts. You can see... Okay, where are the bolts? Oh, here we go. I'm standing on them. They shoot these bolts out. And you have to be very careful. You have to shoot the haunted so that they stop firing off those bolts and that will destroy the lift. It will fall down and destroy it and they will no longer be able to fire off the bolts so we have to do that we have to run around and shoot all the haunted in the lifts it's pretty tricky but if you know how to do it it's not too bad um what was i going to say um oh that's right and the achievement is related to joseph um if you've got joseph up here and some haunted they tend to knock him off this bridge and he'll sort of hang on the ledge there and if you save him from falling off then you'll get an achievement. I'm not going to bother with that because I've already got it so I think it's best to just do this because it's probably easier to do it than it is to explain it. So straight down here, checkpoint, get ready this one will open up, shoot the haunted, he's going to fire off, fuck. Fuck, 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 see? 
fires off the bolts, I ran into the bomb as opposed to up the staircase. You've got to be quick there, but that's okay. We've got the checkpoint. That's no problem, and you really need a checkpoint here. Jeez, I've died quite a few times already. This is pretty bad. Can usually get through this part without dying once, but yep, it's a it's a live recording. Turn around and fucking Jesus, this is appalling. Run. You have to be very quick here because haunted spawn in. Hide behind this. That will stop you from getting hit by those bolts. Run over here. That one will open. And this is a bit tricky. This shot. Shot. Yeah, I failed. Okay, I'm going to have to try that again when it reopens. Got him. Run. Now these haunted will start climbing the ladder. Sh fucking hell, didn't get to shoot him off. In oh, yep, go. Good. Blah, blah, blah. I'm panicking. Shock bolt. I didn't even pick that up. What the hell? Wow, I'm so nervous. This is fucked. Okay, this is bad. Okay, once you see the fat zombie, go. Run, run, run. Run, run. Shoot the shock bolt here. Get your rifle. Oh my god, there's a fucking haunted here. What the hell is going on? Fucking hell. Okay, shoot him down. And wait for this one to open up. Come on. Got him. I'm going to run up here immediately. Now you have to be careful here. Joseph can die. Because he's a fucking dumbass. If he... Yep. Okay, he's going to die. So what I'm going to do is... What I'm going to do is start that whole fight again. <laughs> Alright, let's do it again. Okay, we're a bit quicker here. That's fine. Got him. Duck behind here. Otherwise you get... I... I was... Duh. I was ducking. I was... Okay. Look, I'll admit it. I, I did let go of the duck button at the last second there. But I th Ooh, that was a headshot. I thought I was safe. Okay, maybe not. Maybe have to duck for a bit longer there. We'll have to take them all out before we can wow. Get now we can get through without getting skewered. We won't stand a chance if we don't take out those other guns. Run. Run, run, run. Now I've got to get this one in the first shot. Yes, got him. Ooh. Okay, we're doing a bit better now. A lot faster. That's good. What? Didn't fall off? There we go. Grab the shock bolt. We need that. So yeah, I set a shock bolt there. When we jump down, so the haunted gets stopped. Where's the fat zombie? Has he spawned yet? No, not yet. Yeah, Joseph will take care of a few of them. Okay, the fat zombie hasn't spawned yet. Might as well heal Joseph. Oh, is that him? Okay, I'm just going to run now. Run, run, run. And go here. Like I said, sh shoot the shock bolt there so that the zombies... Sorry, the haunted chasing you will get shocked and you can... Have a bit of time here to shoot this haunted good and run up the stairs. Hopefully Joseph will be be good. We'll see. So once you take care of all, all those haunted in the lifts there, shooting the bolts, no more haunted will spawn. Yeah, and it's good. If you shoot them there, they'll fall off. Actually, you know what? I want the loot, so gonna shoot them here. Might as well use, yeah, I'm gonna use the stupid fucking harpoon bolts. Because you just get so many of them, you know. Kill them for me, Joseph. Alright, I'll burn them. There we go. Thanks, Joseph. Yeah, that one was almost gonna hit me.
Whoa, bomb. Joseph, take care of him. Fucking hell. I want to shoot that, but I'm not sure if Joseph will die, so... In the way of getting to the tower now. Look at him! Please tell me it's dead. Ah! Okay, it is. So... Oh man, this is just... Let me just gather myself. That fight is done. But it's not really over yet. Basically... As soon as you go back down there, the the door will shut, and through that door will come, can you guess? It's the Sadist. So we have to fight the Sadist here, and I might attempt to defuse some of the bomb traps, but maybe after I've killed the Sadist and gotten the checkpoint. Nothing so, what I like to do is, there's actually an explosive barrel. Ooh, rifle ammo. Thank you. Only one bullet, but I'll take it. There's an explosive barrel there. And what I'm... You can actually glitch him. I'm, j I'm just going to try and do it. I'll just... Yeah, I'll just try and do it. Here we go. Checkpoint, so that's good. Here he comes with the chainsaw. So I'm going to run and get that barrel in place. Shoot. Whoa, whoa. Okay, now we'll see if I can do it here. Come on. Okay, I'm just going to see if that... Did it work? Yeah, I got him. So, you can actually glitch him here, right? How it works is you have to freeze him. And you've got to position the barrel so it's behind him. And shoot the barrel as he's frozen. But, it, you know, the barrel has to be pretty much right behind him. You have to shoot it so it hits him in the back, okay? It's very sort of specific what you have to do, but I did it there. And as you can see, he's like stuck in place on fire and frozen. <laughs> so you can just go ahead and do three headshots with the rifle. And he'll go down. Or maybe save some rifle ammo. Uh, what can I use actually? Yeah, might as well just shoot him with the rifle. Two, one more shot, and that should be it. There we go. So, I mean, you can do that anyway if you just freeze him, but I just wanted to show you guys that little sort of glitch you can do there. Let's be careful. Grab that. Could be full. And the harpoon bolts and ammo. Goo. Alright. So, do we get a checkpoint? If not, I don't. I didn't see checkpoint after killing him. So maybe I'm not going to defuse those bombs. Fuck it. It's just too risky, you know. Um. Yeah, because I know once you go through where the sadist came out through the door there, I think it shuts on you and you can't come back. So yeah, there's a key up there. Fucking hell, I, I want some trap parts though. I'm going to have to fight the sadist again. Ah! Nah, fuck it. Look, if I had a checkpoint, I'd do it. But I'm not, I'm not doing it. It's too risky. Shoot the statue with the rifle and it will drop a key. Let's collect the key. Bang, and we'll go through now. So, the elevator yeah. Stopped at the top. Let's look for another that way. shot on me, did it? Yep. Oh well. Can't go back. Anyway, we'll go up here now. There'll be some more collectibles. A map fragment. This is what the holdup was. Yeah, don't burn that body yet. We'll have to go there eventually, but grab the map. Grab the map. Fragment off the floor first, and we have a save room. Go in, there'll be a personal file. You can have a read of it. I'll scroll down. There you go. And I think that's it for this room. Oh no, there's some 
green goo. Okay, and now we'll head into the actual save room. And there will be a newspaper article to collect. But I'm going to use, I think I've got a key. Two, one or two? Two. Good. So, we'll open some more lockers now. Ooh, shotgun ammunition. Perfect. Handgun ammunition. Hopefully we get some green goo. Ooh, shotgun ammunition. That's good. Can never get it. Shotgun ammunition is very important for this chapter. Especially later on coming up. Grab that. Okay, so... I'll go to the... I'll grab the newspaper collectible first. There it is. And now I'm going to do some upgrading. And I think what I'm going to do is probably maybe upgrade the shotgun a bit. I don't know. Or For now, I think... Yeah, shotgun damage, I'll get that up. Maybe the capacity, the stock. Oh no, the stock for the rifle at least, I'll get that up. And the capacity for the rifle. As well as the fire rate. And damage. Clip capacity, we'll get that up. Yep, okay, so... The rifle and shotgun are pretty important for this chapter. So, I like to get them upgraded at this stage. And I think that's it. We can go straight back now. And we'll burn the body that was near the lift. That will allow us to go in. Grab some more matches there. Reload all my stuff. I've only got one round for the rifle. But that's okay. We'll get some more ammo for it coming up. And up we go. So this part coming up, there's going to be a little fight. But it's not too bad. I'm going to use... Oh yeah, I've already used the shock bolt, so I might have to craft a shock bolt coming up. I'll see. Get my rifle equipped for now. Do you think Kidman is okay? I don't like that they used her as bait. Almost like someone's toying with us. Yeah, so you can see Joseph is sick still. Hang in there. Just a little further. Alright, so what's going to happen now is we're going to walk forward a bit. We'll get a cutscene. And Joseph is... Oh, you'll see. But we have to use the rifle for this section coming up. So have that equipped, ready to go. Two. We can take them. No, that's not. Okay, so as you can see, Joseph is being led to the guillotine up there to the left. So we have to quickly shoot these haunted, two of them, before they lead him up there. Otherwise, he will get his head cut off. He will become decapitated. Didn't get time to shoot that one. You have to be sort of quick. This is going to be my... Yep, perfect. Got him. So I picked up some rifle ammo that was here. So the game okay. gives you some, which is good. 
Now I'm going to craft. I'm fine. No need to worry. <sighs> I don't really want to have to do this, but. Yeah, I guess I'll have to craft a shock bolt. I like to do that here. Because Joseph is going to throw down this ladder. And basically once we cross the ladder and go up to him, we'll get a cutscene. He's going to start getting another door open for us up there. And as he's doing that, Haunted will begin... Sorry, as he's doing that, Haunted will come from this direction here. And they're going to sort of climb that ladder there across and try and take care of him so we're going to stop them with that shock bolt oh no that was <laughs> that was a bloody harpoon bolt I don't know what I'm doing this is a mess alright let's do it we'll get a cutscene now I like this cutscene you should have just let them huh and the hell it's just a matter of time better this way. What the fuck? And here they come. So, I've set up the shock bolt trap. That should stun them all in place for a bit. And I Come might just fire off go. a explosive bolt to take care of them as they're shocked. Oh, there's only one there. Oh, there's a few now. So, take care of those ones. And I'll use the... Yeah, there's a few haunted to the left throwing shit at you. I tend to just ignore them because it never sort of hits you. Whoop, one more still standing. Just drop a match on these ones. There we go. Didn't get the second one, that sucks. Oh, he's back up. Match. Burn. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> got a bit too cocky there. Now it's going to be harder because even though you've got the checkpoint, the shock... Oh my this is fucked. The shock point, blah, the shock bolt isn't there now. So, oh man, what's going on? This is just terrible. This is really bad. The way I'm playing, so sloppy, you know. Cover me. Just a mess. So I guess I'm just gonna have to use the shotgun to sort of knock him down, and that's probably. Oh no, he didn't hit me. Thought I was gonna get killed there too. Yeah, look, it's not a hard fight, this one. It's pretty simple. Kill those three, please. Good. I'm not going to use the freeze bolt, because I want to save that shit. Alright, so, might as well... Shoot him. And the other one up there. Got him. Just make sure if you want to grab the loot that you do because once Joseph diffuses or whatever he's doing opens that door, you can't, you don't have time to sort of run around and explore, so you just go straight to a cutscene, alright? So make sure you do grab the loot if there is any. Yeah, Hurry, see? Because you just go straight through. Priest haunted. Love those ones. Joseph, are you all right? I... I... Yeah. So, that's done, and we've got a checkpoint. Now, for what feels like the first time in the chapter, we've got a sort of quiet section coming up, where we've just got some loot to collect and whatnot. Ooh, a trap part. Ooh, another one. Wow, thanks, game. It knows I've been fucked over for this chapter, so it's being pretty forgiving. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, so for this section, there's just going to be some loot to collect. And some collectibles. So, we'll go ahead and... This looks like some kind of a marketplace. 
It looks deserted. Like everywhere else. We ought to keep moving. Yep, we'll go ahead and collect the loot and collectibles. This one's trapped. Open it halfway. There you go. Hopefully another trap part. Yes, two. Beautiful, beautiful. I sort of like... I don't like being on less than 15. Oh, another one. Yeah, less than 15 trap parts. That's a bit concerning, you know. If you've got 15 or more, I think you're pretty... You're doing okay, you know. Some goo. Lots of barrels and boxes to break here. Some more goo. Nothing there. Just make sure you have a good look around because it can be easy to, mi to miss some of the loot. 1,000 green gel there, that's good. Another trap part. Okay, so I'm on 15 now, that's good. Feeling a bit more comfortable now. And if you break these boxes here, you can actually crawl through to this little hidden area. And as you can see, there's a key. So we'll grab that. And I think I saw another trap part out here. Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> if I did defuse a lot of those bombs... Oh, yeah, audio tape here. Father was a stern man. Proud. And I thought intelligent. But he was also pious. A believer. Somehow he always supported the church no matter what the newspaper said. He waved away the allegations that they were infallible. The wretched, the vermin, the stern, all were taken in by that church. They were promised salvation and eternal life. But there's nothing they could promise that I couldn't take away. Okay. Shotgun shells here. Yeah, as I was saying, if I did defuse those bombs, all those bombs in the previous area, where those four lifts were for that fight, man, I'd be killing it in terms of how many trap parts I would have gotten. But yeah, I just didn't get a checkpoint, so I wasn't... I, I never defused those trap... Uh, sorry, I never defused those bombs anyway. It's too fucking risky. Way too hard. Defusing the bombs on Akumu. It's bullshit. And I think that's it for this area. We've got the audio log and the key. Now we'll go through the door here. Another sort of little quiet area coming up. Where do you suppose we are? More like when. This architecture seems straight out of the Middle Ages. Yeah, but there's electricity. Elevators. This place can't be real. It's like jumbled up memories. Yep, so all we can do here is walk. There's no items to collect. I've checked around here. And a cutscene. Out and hear for a minute. Is this what it was like, Seb? After the accident? Well, I never put a gun to my head. No, of course not. Just quietly sank into a bottle. We can't all be perfect. It never affected my work. But hey, you read the IA report. You know I didn't report you because I was worried about your work, Sebastian. <laughs> what else is there?
We don't have time for this. I need my partner here. I'm counting on you. Alright, so for this area, just collect the loot. And there's actually a map fragment next to this disgusting table. Look at that Find shit. Something? Maybe. It's all symbols. There's the map fragment. Some kind of cult. Could be useful. Symbols on the I'm wall okay. there. We should probably get going. Matches. And what else have we got? I have one round for the rifle. That's good because I do need one for the part coming up. But first we're going to go into this save room shack area and head on into the save room where there will be two more collectibles, a newspaper article and a missing persons poster. And we'll use the key or keys that we have to open some more lockers. How many do I have? One. Okay. Good. Shotgun shells. Open that one. Whoops. Wrong button. Green gel. Nice. Can't carry any more. That sucks. So before I do some upgrading, I'm just going to grab the collectibles. So the newspaper article will be here as per usual. You can have a read of that. And the missing person's poster. Now let's do some upgrading. And I think I'm gonna keep it... You know, uh... I might upgrade the explosive vault. Damage. That's quite important for the final boss fight. The boss fight at the end of this... Chapter is against a giant mutated dog called Sentinel. Now... In my honest opinion, in terms of the entire game, that is the hardest fight in the entire game for me. Now that I know how to do it effectively, it's alright, but when I first went through Akumu, that final boss fight fucked me over so hard, it was, dis it was absolutely disgraceful. I can't even begin to tell you guys how many times I died on that fight attempting it. It's just, it's near inhuman, you know. I, I reckon I racked up about 50 to 70 deaths alone on that fight, you know. At the end of the game, when you complete it on Akuma, it tells you how many deaths you racked up in total. And I think I had about 375. But yeah, like I said, I reckon 50 to 70 of those deaths were on that, were on that dog sentinel. This boss fight coming up, you know. At the end of this chapter, it was just appalling. So, I'm gonna... I think damage is... I uh, can't even upgrade that yet. Can't upgrade the damage for that either. Fuck. Alright, I might save my goo. I'm gonna save it, because I think getting the damage up for the shotgun and rifle here is quite important. In terms of taking care of that boss sentinel, that mutated dog. So I'll at least just get the explosive bolt damage increased a bit because that's going to help for this immediate upcoming... It's sort of like a sub... There's so many sub-boss... Sorry, there's so many... There's so many sub-boss fights in this chapter and big fights and boss fights. It's just crazy. But for now, go ahead. We'll get a cutscene. Hold on a minute. Let me climb up here and see if I can get a look ahead. You all right? Yeah. Hey, that's Kidman. Who's that she's with? What I found seems to be in working condition. Go on ahead, I'll cover you. 
So what we need to do here, this is just a small little fight, pretty simple. Joseph is up there with a sniper rifle covering us. First of all, I'm going to immediately take care of this sniper there. I've only got one bullet, so I have to make this count. Perfect. Now, it's quite annoying here because it's like water. You can only sort of walk. But there's a body to burn. I've got to burn that body. Where is it? There we go. And we'll walk forward. Some more will spawn. And I'm going to run back. And hopefully let Joseph take care of them. There's going to be about three of them here. Shoot that one so he doesn't run to me. Okay, I'm just going to run up here. Hopefully Joseph will... See, he's shooting them. <laughs> what was that? The hell was that? That was a pathetic kick. Okay, so it looks like Joseph killed them all. Thanks, Joseph. So I don't really have to expend any or much ammo there for that fight. And let's see if they dropped anything. You can't really tell because it's sort of in the water. Oh, there we go, some goo. And there'll be... how many explosive bolts? Just one there. That's quite important, the explosive bolts, because coming up, pretty much as soon as we go through this door here, you can go through the door safely, it won't trigger the, the sub-boss fight yet. Sebastian, that put you out here the path to the church. Keep going, I'll cover you. Yep, so Joseph will still cover us. Now, this part coming up, basically, as soon as we walk forward there, we're going to become introduced to two enemies. This is a sub-boss fight coming up. They're two giants. They're called Nguyen and Zen. Now, when I first played through this game on Akumu, I took care of them one by one, but I found out a way where you can take care of them both at the same time, and that will save the amount of ammo and bolts that you have to use. So I'm going to use a freeze bolt, and yep, an explosive bolt, and then I might just... I'll just use the shotgun after that. That's all I'm going to use. So, let's trigger it. Here we go. This is pretty cool. I like this. <laughs> so that haunted gets fucked up. Alright, now run. Run, 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 run through here. And what you're going to do is crouch and go in here. There'll actually be a shock bolt. Now the second giant will come crashing through there. Now what they're going to do is they're going to focus their attention on Joseph. He's up the top there. Okay, freeze them. And do that. And now I'm going to use the shotgun and just shoot them both like that. Make sure you get both of them. Now's your chance to finish them off. And I've got to sort of position myself so that... Ooh, that one's still alive. That's not cool. Well, they're both alive, but... Shit, this is a mess. Fucking Jesus. Okay. Might have to do this again, we'll see. Ah! Ah! I don't really care about using shotgun ammunition here because... Ah! <laughs> Alright, fucking hell. Looks like I'm going to have to craft another explosive bolt. I didn't want to have to do it, but... Oh, this chapter's just not going well. I'm just skimpy. I'm being a bit tight here in terms of my ammo and bolt conservation, but... You, out near the path to the you know what? You. Fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to create two. I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm just going to make this easier. Easier for myself. I just don't give a shit. This chapter's fucking me over a bit, so... Stuff it. Let's try that again. Alright, same thing. We're going to run straight past this one. And we're going to duck in here. 
wait for the second one to come out, grab the shock bolt, freeze them both as per usual. This time I'm just going to use both the explosive bolts. One, two, now the shotgun. Okay, so they should be staggering now. And I'll just shoot them. This should get both of them. There we go. They've both dropped. Pick up their goo. How much? Oh, I didn't get to see. Shit. A dead end. I'll look for another route. Let's meet up by the horse statue there. Yep, so we gotta meet Joseph there. 3,500 each. Yep, that's nice. Before you meet up with Joseph, make sure you grab any loot that is around. And did I pick up the shock bolt? Yes, I did. Now go back. There'll be more shotgun ammunition to collect. As well as some green gel over here where the first giant came out. Shotgun ammunition there. Alright, so... The good thing is, there's actually some more explosive bolts to collect after this sub-boss fight, and they are located right here. There should be two of them, which is good. I'm going to be using both of those... Oh, okay, I've got three explosive bolts. I didn't realise that. That's even better. So now we'll just go over here. Yeah, I'm going to be using the explosive bolts for the final boss fight against the mutated dog sentinel so now there's a collectible here this document grab that wait there was something about a horse in that house back there let me see what I wrote I guess we go down I guess so And we're back in the save room, which is good because we're going to be, we're going to need to do some more upgrading. And there's more shotgun shells there. Handgun ammunition. I don't have any keys. Okay. No collectibles here. So we'll just go straight to the upgrade chair. And I think what I'm going to do... Depending on how much green gel I have, I may even upgrade the explosive bolt damage a bit more. Oh, that's 7,000 though. Jesus. That's a lot. Um, I think I might increase... Uh, it's a tough one. It's a tough one indeed. Yep, I'm going to increase the rifle damage. And I only have 3,300 green gel remaining. The fire rate might be... Oh, I might get that up, actually. Grenades, yeah, might as well increase that, and I think that should do it. Okay, we should be alright now for the final boss fight. Might be a bit tricky, but should be able to get through it okay. So now we're sort of down in this catacombs area, and there's nothing really that's going to happen down here. Until we get to the final boss fight. Just a bit of loot. You don't need to worry about me. And whatnot. This is pretty cool, look at this. Shut up. Shut up. Any loot here? I don't think there is. So we'll go straight ahead. Into this room. 
Now this is a bit of a puzzle that we have to solve here. It's very simple. Basically just involves lowering or raising these bodies from the altars. First thing I'm going to do is raise this body. I'll explain how to do it in a minute, but for now I'm just going to quickly do it. Joseph will sort of tell us how to solve it anyway, coming up pretty soon. What do you make of this writing? Doesn't mean anything to me, should it? Now hold on a second, I jotted something down earlier. It seems the sacrifices need to be lowered onto the proper altars, and the safe way to him will be open. Yep. So basically all you need to do is lower the bodies onto the altars, 3, 5 and 9, okay? The ones that have the, the line through it. 7 doesn't have a line through it, so that means that you need to raise the body from that altar. So let's drop this body onto altar number 5 and drop the body on altar number 9 which is this one and that will do it we can go through the tunnel there without getting killed by the spikes but before you leave this area there's actually a key okay I'll get it in a minute there's also some loot over here green gel and there should be some harpoon bolts on the wall yep oh a trap part nice Alright, so the key's over here, so you'll notice that there's these sort of, I don't know, bodies in these bags that come through, and there is the key on that one. Just wait for it to drop on the floor there, or get close to the floor, sorry. Hit it, and then you can pick it up. So there you go. And now that we've done that, just quickly check that you've dropped the bodies on to altar number 3, 5, and 9. Yes, we have. And we've raised the one off altar number seven. Yep. So let's go. The spikes won't kill us. Easy. It seems that was correct. Yep. And we'll go in the lift here. Lots of dead bodies here. Pretty grotesque. Yeah, I should be sweet. I've got I've got quite a number of bolts actually. I've got a freeze bolt, a shock bolt, three explosive bolts, three harpoon bolts, flash bolt, a poison bolt. Alright, I'm doing pretty good still. We're still in good shape. So in this room coming up there'll just be some items to collect. As well as a collectible. A document which is on the table right here. You can have a read of that. This is actually talking about those two giants that we fought, Nguyen and Zen. So I'll scroll down, you can have a read of that. There you go. And shotgun shells, give me some. And if you look at the table here, you can examine this. So there they are, Nguyen and Zen. Freaks. And also, if you examine this, we well can't really examine it, but if you look at it, it's a picture of that dog, the boss that we're going to be fighting very soon, Sentinel. Absolutely the most brutal fight, in my honest opinion in the entire game. There's a trick to defeating him though. Oh yeah, there's also a document here. Make sure you grab that. This is actually talking about the dog, Sentinel, the guard dog. There you go. We're actually gonna see it. Here it is, look. Look at that fucking thing. It's huge. So it looks pretty calm now, doesn't it? 
Don't be fooled. It's going to break out and we're going to have to fight it coming up very, very soon. Pretty much now. So just run through here. And step on the pressure plate there to get the door open. Go through. So the dog, Sentinel, is going to barge through there. Can you get it open? And we're going to have to fight it. So here we go. I'll talk about how to take care of it after we get the cutscene. Okay, here we go. Immediately run to this gate over here. Equip the shotgun immediately. Now wait. As okay. The trick is you can drop this dog once it gets close enough. Not too close like it did there because it just killed me. But basically the trick is you can down it with a close range shotgun blast when it charges at you, okay? You just have to be very careful in this area because there are bear traps. You know, it's not like this fight is hard enough. The game's got to drop bear traps all over the place. The bear traps are only on Akumu. Maybe on Nightmare as well, yeah. The bear traps might be here on Nightmare as well, I'm not sure. But they certainly weren't here on Casual and Survival difficulty, so... If you just do what I do, should be alright. Not what I'm doing now. <laughs> but yeah, let's do this properly. Just going to focus now. Turn off my lantern. I don't need that turned on. Oh shit, it's right there. Fuck. That's not cool. It's pretty rare for it to go that close. Yep, panicked. So the trick is you can't shoot the dog too when it's too close. Otherwise it will hit you when you die. And you can't shoot it when it's too sort of far away otherwise it won't do anything it has to be in that sort of sweet spot and if you shoot it when it's in that sweet spot it will drop to the ground and what I'm going to do is fire off an explosive bolt and run because it will charge again god this fight is just so fucked I can't even describe how bad it is see bang got it in the sweet spot shoot it with the explosive bolt I'm going to run careful there's a bear trap right there and it's charging. Got it again. Same thing. Bang. Just run to the other side. Careful of the bear trap. Now where'd it go? Oh shit, I've lost it. Oh, there it is. Got it. Same thing. Bang. Okay, now, fuck, where's the bear trap? Oh, Jesus. Here, here it comes. Got it. And, oh shit, I'm out. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to have to shoot it with the rifle now. There we go. Killed it. <sighs> Holy shit. So that's the trick, alright, for this fight. Look, now that I know how to do it effectively... Oh, here we go. Cutscene. I'll talk about it in a minute. Joseph. What is it? I dropped my glasses back there. Get fucked. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's not over yet. We gotta go back in. Fucking hell. Alright, I might. Okay. You don't actually have to kill the dog. Alright? All you have to do is run straight ahead to where Joseph's glasses are and they're pretty much on the ground up ahead there I can't see it but it's there but you you can kill it if you want to and if you do so it will drop 7000 green gel I'm gonna kill it I want the green gel so and there's also some bear traps to disarm so I want the trap parts as well from disarming those so I'm gonna 
immediately run, spawn it. And there it goes. And I'm going to shoot it with the rifle two times. And from this point on, I'm just going to have to use the shotgun. Okay, come on. Charge at me. Here we go. Gotcha. So now I don't really have the... Yeah, I don't have... What if I do that? That doesn't really do anything, actually. Ah, okay, just run. Come on. Fuck, and what the... F Ugh, bear trap, be careful. It's a lot easier if you have the rifle. Rifle ammo. Gotcha. Got it, okay. That was easy. So yeah, it's dead. It's, it goes down pretty quick if you've got ammunition for the rifle. I didn't have ammunition for it there. But yeah, the trick for that dogfight, it's... Look. I, honestly, I feel like it's the hardest fight in the game still. Um, but it's actually quite easy once you know what to do. The trick is you wait for the dog to charge at you. And once it gets in that sweet spot, you know, not too close, not too far away... You shoot the shotgun at it, bang, it will drop and fall to the ground. Immediately, you know, you can fire off an explosive bolt, or you can shoot it with the rifle, whatever you want, then just gain some distance and wait for it to charge again, bang, rinse and repeat, okay? So, it's it's very, like it's doable, you know? I'd actually recommend taking care of this dog, even on a Kumu. Okay, so now that we've done that, time to disarm the bear traps. There's one here. I need trap parts game and there's one in the middle here somewhere unless the dog ran over it and it triggered it to go off fucking hell just gotta be careful it's usually here alright maybe it's gone shock bolt there and there's Joseph's glasses like I said you don't even need to fight the dog for this part you can just grab the glasses and run some boxes to break in the area as well. Actually, what I might do is disarm the remaining bear traps in case I accidentally step in them. So there's one over here. It's very tricky, this one. It's in the grass. There it is. Fucking bullshit. And there'll be another one over here. There it is. So that's good. And I think that's it now. Should be able to run around without getting killed in a bear trap just break the boxes, there's some gel and I think that should be it yep, that's it, alright, we're done so now, oh come on, this running, the stamina is terrible go straight through here and we'll give Joseph his glasses for God's sake, all that just for a pair of glasses, come on. I'm sorry. It's not just about being unable to see. It's about feeling normal. It's alright. Let's focus on finding Kidman. Jeez, Joseph, all that for a pair of glasses. <laughs> exactly. So that is it, guys, for Chapter 6. I died quite a number of times and I actually died on sections that normally I can get through without dying like when I fought those two giants I actually died but yeah I, I found I think the reason why I died a number of times here is because I was being quite stingy with my ammunition and bolt conservation you know I'd say fuck it just use the bolts use the use your ammunition you know just go crazy because this is the most fucked up chapter in the game in terms of difficulty, okay? After this, chapters 7 and 8, it's a breeze compared to this. It starts picking up again. Probably I'd say chapter 10 and 11. They're pretty tough. But yeah, honestly, if you can get through this chapter on a Kumu, you can get through the whole game on a Kumu, alright? If you can make it through this chapter on a Kumu, you are sweet to get through the game. But that's it, let's go forward. 
What the hell was that sound? Jesus. So that is it guys for chapter 6 and I'll leave it here and see you guys in the next video for chapter 7. I'm out.